guys, my name is Chris. I am the Budget Guy and I welcome you to my channel. Today I'm going to be stuffing our cash envelopes and this is going to be for the week of October 9th, which is today through the 15th. So I've gone by the bank this afternoon and I pulled some money out and I have my envelopes here and we're going to go ahead and get started. So the first thing I always like to do is count the money so that you know how much we're going to be uh, putting in our envelopes. All right, so we have 50, 100, 150, 170, 190, 210, 220, 225, 230, 235. $235 is what we have to stuff with for our regular cash envelopes. All right, I'm gonna put my money over here. Our first category is fuel. Now, this category is, um, we budget for uh, for this once a month, and we normally pull out $150 out of the bank on the first week of every month. Um, and then once we use all of that 150 up, because normally we spend more than that in gas within a month, we also have a Discover credit card that we put a small percentage uh, on, and it's just used strictly for gas. Um, so we don't use the, we only use a percentage of the credit card's limit is what I'm trying to say. And so our total fuel budget for uh, each month is $240. All of that to say is today we're not stuffing this envelope, but since it is one of our cash envelopes, I'm going to go ahead and show you what is currently in here. All right, so let's see here. All right, so I have two sides to this. One is the cash um, tracking, and then the other side is the Discover card. So on October 4th, we spent $44 uh, on gas for our Nissan, and that left us uh, $46 left to spend on that card. And then on the back, um, you see we had at the first of the month, uh, I was on vacation the first week, so I didn't make the cash stuffing videos. Um, so I, I I did this off camera, but I added $150, which gave us $210 in this envelope. All right, so let me count this, and we should have $210 if I've been keeping up with it right. All right, so $100, $150, $170, $190, $190 and then $210. So we are correct, $210. Alrighty, that one is good. Um, our next category, and I don't have different uh, cash envelope categories, but I have modified a couple of them to, they will be used somewhat differently. And one of them is this one. This is our house and yard envelope. I've changed this to house improvement or home improvement, whatever you wanna call it. And so like, for instance, we are wanting to get a small ceiling fan, ceiling, not fan, fan, <laughs> for our, um, it's like a small dining room we have. Uh, they come sometimes call it a breakfast, breakfast nook. I'm sorry, I can't talk today. But anyway, we want to put a small ceiling fan there. Um, the one we're looking at is right at $200. And so once we have that amount saved in here, I'm going to go ahead and buy it from Amazon. And so, so things like that would come out of this, um, this envelope. All right, so, and also to add that this also includes yard things. Um, I've still not bought any fall flowers for the year because it's still pretty warm here. It gets a little cool at night, but it's it's not to where the daytime is cool. Like yesterday, I know I went outside and, and cut some limbs and I mean, it was downright humid. I mean, it didn't feel like fall at all. And so the fall flowers I normally buy are the, the mums. And they say if you wait till the weather is cooler every day, you know, during the daytime even, that the they will bloom more. And so I'm going to try that this year. All right, so right now we have a balance of $83. And I'm gonna count that and show you what we have. All right, so 50, 60, 70, 75, 80, 81, 82, 83. Our budget for this each week currently is five dollars 
So I'm going to add five here. And this will give us uh, $88. And this is a deposit. And today is 10 9. Okay. I guess it would help to add the money to it. I was about to put the money back up. <laughs> All right, there's five. And let's see here. We'll count it one more time to make sure we have $88. 50, 60, 70, 75, 80, 85, 86, 87, $88. There we go. All right, so next we have, um, it was groceries and eating out. We've also added household to this. So household is different than house improvement. House improvement is for like sort of big ticket items, things that that need replacing on a bigger scale, such as like I mentioned, the ceiling fan, or if we want to buy a new rug or something for the house, it would come out of here. All right, so groceries and eating out is self-explanatory. Household will include things such as uh, cleaning supplies. Um, uh, let me think, some pads for our Swiffer mop, you know, um, just different things that we could typically buy at a grocery store when we're buying our food and that we need uh, replaced at home. So I've added that to this. So groceries, household, and eating out is all together. And the the budget for this used to be 100 a week. Um, it is currently 150 a week. And so the extra money to that, um, this category, I mean, is due to two reasons. One is because my nephew has moved in with us for a little while, and that means we're consuming more food now. And then plus, I've added household to this, so it will give us a little more wiggle room when we're buying food and non-food items. All right, so currently we have... All right, I think... Uh, all right, so as of October 4th, we had a balance of $26.00. I had took $6 out of this and bought something, but I'm not remembering what it was, and I sure didn't update my tracker, so let me go ahead and make that change here. I'll just put 10 9. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna put adjustment. This is what happens when I don't record things. I completely forget where the money goes. And so I'm gonna do minus six, and then that will give us what we have in here right now. Um, again, though, our our budget for this is $150 a week, so I'm adding $150 today. And this is a deposit. And plus $150 will give us $170. I have taken out all 50s for this um, this week. And so... We have 50, 100, 150, 170. And we will have to go to the grocery store this weekend to pick up some things because we're running out of quite a few things. We're going to have to make us a list. All right, and this is good to go. Our next cash envelope we have is pet care. Uh, if you're new here, um, we have two cats and we have a puppy, a miniature schnauzer. Um, and we also have a leopard gecko. And so any of their weekly food items or um, treats or anything like that, if the gecko needs worms, crickets, or whatever we de decide to buy him that week, the expenses for those things come out of the pet care. All right, so right now we have $131. We will also be making a trip to the pet store this weekend. Um, to stock up on a few things. All right, so the budget for this currently is $30. So this will give us 161. I have a fish tank and I'm anxious to get um, the water tested in it and new fish put into it. We had a couple tropical fish in it and they ended up dying. I think it was because of just old age. You know, they don't live a very long time because 
I've had them for a very long, uh, well, it's, you know, a good while anyway. Um, but I'm eager to get more fish in there because the tank is just running and there's nothing, there's no life in it right now. <laughs> it looks kind of sad. So 161. All right, so here's 20 and 30. Okay, so 20, let's see. All right, so we have 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 100, 110, 120, 130, 140, 150, 155, 156, 157, 158, 159, 160, 161. Toby, our puppy, needs a new dog bed, so I may be buying him a new one. I, I, I really don't want to, though, because he's still at that chewing age, and he likes to chew up everything. We give him toys, and he takes the cotton out of them. He'll take the squeakers out of them. He's just, he's a little disruptive, um, but I probably still will get him one anyway, because the one he has is looking pretty rough. <laughs> All right. Our next... These two envelopes are not like our others <laughs> because I don't, well, one of them I don't have a um, a pretty laminated envelope. And then this one here is for uh, my wife's weekly lunch money. When she's working, she goes out to lunch some days. Um, but anyway, she has an envelope for that. So whenever I'm showing the video to you guys. I like to put the cash for that in something to give to her when I see her. And so this is what I'm using, this little, um, just the bank envelope that I got the cash in. So the budget for her, uh, her weekly lunch money is $25. So there's 20 and five. Okay. And Amanda lunch. Next is um, this is Hunter allowance, twenty five a week. Hunter, if you don't know, is my fifteen year old nephew. He's living with Amanda and I, and um, we've given him some responsibilities to take care of while he's living here, so that he can earn some extra spending money. And so over here, I've kind of written down a few things that we've gone over with him um, for that 25 a week. Um, one thing is keeping his bedroom clean, or I'm, I'm reading wrong, keeping his bathroom clean and keeping his bedroom clean. Um, also dusting the furniture at least once weekly and then doing dishes at least once weekly. And if he can do those, um, and he's even helped me take the trash out, um, so if he can keep up with everything, he can get 25 a week. And so he's very happy about that. And he's, he's very happy to help us out around here. So it's a win-win for us. Um, and it, it's a win for him too. So 25 a week. And so our last 25 will go to this. And we normally pay this on Friday. Um, I gave him 25 this week, which was from the last budget. Um, I gave it to him yesterday. He was talking about wanting a new game controller um, yesterday, and he was a little short on cash, but he wasn't aware that I was paying him yet for doing, you know, taking care of responsibilities around here. So I went ahead and just gave it to him a day early yesterday so that he would be happy he would have enough money to go get that game controller. And in fact, that's where we're going after this video. So <laughs> he's probably eager for me to stop running my mouth and get off this. So, But anyway, guys, that is all of our cash envelopes we have. Um, I hope that you enjoyed this. I hope all of you are staying healthy, staying happy. I hope your families are doing okay. As always, I appreciate your amazing support. Thank y'all for being here. Um, and I will see y'all in my next video. Bye, guys.